Hey guys, welcome to a short tutorial on arrays. We'll be using them in part 2 of the monster breeding series, but I'll be spending minimal time explaining them in that video as we're coding, just to shorten the video. What are arrays? Arrays store the data you tell them to store. If you think of an Excel sheet, each cell on the sheet would be a number on the array. With a 1D array, it would be just one column on the Excel sheet. With a 2D array, it would look more like this. Why use arrays? You don't really save any time typing out arrays when you're creating them, but when you want to manipulate data using a for loop and looping through the numbers in the array is a lot faster coding wise, and you won't miss anything out. You can also do cool things like using a for loop and an array to draw sprites for thousands of objects and completely replace the objects altogether, which really speeds things up. If you ever want to save the information in an array to an any file, you can just use a for loop rather than typing every single variable. The last thing I want to mention are data structures. These are the scary game maker functions that start with ds underscore and there's like a billion of them. I will cover data structures in another video and all you need to know for now is that they're the same as arrays in that they store data but the built in functions allow you to manipulate that data very easily especially when compared to arrays. Have a complicated routine to work out with arrays? Data structures can probably do that in about one minute of your time. In the same way that we define variables and use them rather than just typing numbers, the same can be done for arrays. It makes them easier to read, which is really important a few days, weeks or months after you coded them. Okay guys, if you followed the tutorial on monster breeding part one, you should have a script that's called SCR breed. Inside that script is around 40 lines of code to check the different features of the parents before we create the child. Now this is how it would look if we had created an array instead of the variables. We can use a for loop to check everything in less than 10 lines of code. The more variables you have, the more time you save. And in games like this, arrays can have dozens or even hundreds of entries. Hey game makers, if you enjoyed the video, you can help the channel with a like and subscribe. It really helps. Feel free to leave a comment below too.